Jeff's sister, Monica, wrote in desperate for my help. And that's interesting to me that Janet didn't write in. Janet's the one that's getting hammered here. She's the one that's got the laboring oar. She's the one raising the children, paying the bills, cleaning up after him, taking care of all the responsibilities. But she didn't ask for help. I have the perfect man to help Jeff become his best self. Now, Mike Baer is a very dear friend of mine, and he's a life coach and the CEO of Cast Centers. He's experienced, he's loved by his clients. They include many A-list celebrities who you would think, who, why would they need somebody to jack their lives up? But they do. Uh, they get stuck sometimes as well. Coach Mike focuses on helping his clients break free of destructive patterns that aren't yielding results that they want. And he has a New York Times best-selling book that is called Best Self, Be You Only Better. And when we talk about life coaching, there's an important distinction here, right, Mike? Because when, when life's not working out and things aren't going well, you can go down one path, which is kind of the medical model, where you say, this is psychiatric or, or this is mental illness, and it might require medication, therapy, hospitalization, or whatever. Or there's another path you can go down, which you just say is dysfunctional behavior, and you need to behave your way out of it. That's where we find you is on this behavioral path, correct? That's correct. We, I mean, first things first, let's kind of change our posture. Just sit up. I want to know from you, why would we take you on as a client? To help you improve your life, why would we take you on? Because uh, I want to change my life. I don't want to be where I'm at right now. I I'm just don't know how to do it. And you're willing to go to any length to do it? Whatever I need to do. I mean, seriously, you want out of this, right? Yeah. Well, you don't. Well, just, you don't like this. No, I don't like it at all. I mean, there's no way you, you like this. You're not a good role model for your children. You, you have to feel guilty for burdening your mother the way that you are. And you, your life's not working. I mean, he's, he's given us some excuses here for stuck life. According to Jeff, he divorced and got fired from his job, so he lost momentum there. Uh, he says his mother treats him like a child. That's mutually defined. He says he can't move and can't find a job. He says mom stopped him from his dream job in Seattle. He's not interested in any of the jobs in his area. It's too cold. Jobs here use old dirty grease. Now, according to Tori and Monica and Janet, he blames Janet for not giving him money for a third aviation degree. He won't go to therapy because they're afraid they're gonna tell him it's his fault. He believes his family's out to get him and his father was tough on him and didn't teach him how to be a dad. The whole description I see right here is what I say with clients, we call it the wham-bulance, that you're waiting to pick you up, right? It's not coming, or it's here now. So let's talk about inertia, because that's what we're dealing with here, right? I mean, it's just a lack of movement or activity, and it's a property of matter by which it remains at rest unless acted upon by some external force. Okay. Meet external force, <laughs> okay? And so we've got to overcome this. Something's got to shake you out of this, and that's what you're intending to do, right? Well, we would start 7 a.m., you're out of the house, 6 p.m., you're home. Mom's going to lock the door. He's not allowed home. Your video game system's getting turned in. Your TV's getting turned in. You're saying you're willing to go in any lengths, right? So sometimes we have to make a huge drastic change in our lives. It's all on me, I know. Winners do things losers don't want to do. It's just that simple. Lo winners do things losers don't want to do. They get up in the morning, they go out and do things that losers don't want to do. Losers want to lay around in bed. Winners get up and go do something. It's, start to, it's time to start behaving like a winner. If you want to be a winner, behave like a winner. It's not fake it till you make it, it's behave your way to success.